Uh, what do you think about uh, facing off against a team like Detroit just to keep this theme going? Um, I think it's great. I think that we get to, again, build up that whole original six uh, rivalry that obviously hasn't been around for a while. But, again, they're just a phenomenal talent. I was only hopping in uh, at the end of what you guys were saying. But, um, no, it'll, it'll be exciting to, to see them a few more times. They're a fantastic team, and we always like to measure ourselves against the best. And that's an organization that's always had a lot of credibility always put together good products so it'll it'll be fun seeing them a few more times now mark uh, i noticed you got the nice scar on your forehead uh, trying to catch up to me a little bit <laughs> but uh, uh you know unfortunate way your season ended last year in the playoffs with that that errant puck in the face uh, how is it feeling and are you good to go and and full full stride i guess here in training camp as we get going yeah no i'm fully good it's uh, uh i was actually pretty lucky it was um, only about a week or so after the surgery that headaches actually went away. Um, so I was told it's somewhat of a miraculous recovery, but um, no, it's been very good. Aside from that, I was just sort of taking some time to let the bone to heal. Uh, but everything's good. Cleared all the tests throughout the summer and, and definitely ready to go for camp. We'll sort of track back to uh, yourself. We kind of didn't get a chance to dive right in there, but uh, I'm sure you had an enjoyable off offseason uh, and some, some time to recover and get back into the swing of things. How much are you looking forward to the start of not only a full season in the NHL with the Maple Leafs uh, coming out of one that was locked out, but just sort of knowing your place a little bit more perhaps than you did a year ago. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, very much excited for the season. Obviously, again, a full year uh, to sort of sort of show what I'm capable of, I guess. But uh, no, it's it's definitely a different feeling. Um, you know, as for the team as a whole, from where we left off, uh, you know, new goals new heights for what we want to achieve this year but uh, as well for myself um, with maybe a little uncertain of where I was going to fall last year and and now I have a pretty good understanding of, of you know my value to the team and, and what I can bring to this organization and, and that's uh, definitely is a, is a large difference for me in, in how I approach the camp so now, uh, go ahead uh, yeah <laughs> yeah take your time and let the forward ask the Dia question <laughs> um, no no fries I mean I mean obviously for you and we had Fraser McLaren on here earlier uh, you know solidified a position on this team I mean you approach camp maybe a little bit different I mean your time in New Jersey with Lou uh, always kept you on your uh, edge which is uh, you know in some ways a, an interesting thing in that organization but but yeah you know with your contract this summer uh, the pairing, I think you and, and both Cody Franson really did earn, uh, you know, the favor of Randy and, and the staff as, uh, you know, things progressed over a shortened season. And so, uh, you know, coming back, I mean, you, you never want to take anything for granted. I know you're not that kind of person, but uh, what is it like actually approaching camp now, the injury behind you, a contract behind you, and now, uh, you know, what does that mean for you continuing to develop into being a uh, – you know, a solid stay-at-home defenseman. Yeah, again, it's it's the approach I like to take is uh, obviously there's a different level of confidence coming to the camp, but I certainly know that, especially from the road I took to get here, that I'm never actually secure, um, that I still have plenty to prove and, and uh, my compete level still has to be to the, you know, the grade it was at that, that got me here. Um, well, that means a lot. And, and again, we were just talking prior uh, about Cody Franson and, and – uh, you know, what we were able to do together, uh, I think, just sort of put us both on a bit of a platform. Um, and we both together just want to meet that. It's coming into camp, and, and hopefully he'll be here uh, He'll be here soon enough. But it's um, it's just being able to match that intensity and, and, and also take it a step further um, now with a year under my belt with this organization and try to, you know, continue to be a leader the way that I've been able to be in previous years as well and, and maybe... Um, as much as I'm trying to match what we were able to do last year, exceed it and or gain, um, you know, a few new talents or skills in a few different areas as well. Now, Mark, uh, you talked about, you know, what you can bring to the table, and one of them is obviously your toughness and your, your physical ability. Um, when you have a, a Fraser McLaren and a Colton Orr, and then you throw yourself in the mix, I mean, you guys can stack up against any team as far, uh, you know, in the National Hockey League with toughness. You know, with having those two guys up front, uh, do what they do does that take some of the pressure off you or does sometimes you feel that they get involved so much that well like when am I going to get involved and do my thing and that's a hard balance sometimes isn't it it is for sure um I, I I don't worry about it too much it's uh you know I know that just playing the way I play um the physicality will come if that's a fight or whatever it may be it'll come um I love having those two guys uh playing forward for us because there's definitely been times on the team that uh you know, I've maybe been the only guy who, yep. who does the fighting, and, and it's tough sometimes. Uh, 
they can definitely help me with the load, especially with the, the large guys, because I guess between the three of us, we're all pretty big boys. But, um, you know, Orzi said it too. You know, there's years for him in the past in New York where he just wished, uh, you know, someone else to step in to give his hand a break. You know, yep. Now we're able to do that for one another. And, and I'm not feeling the pressure. Um, as far as the quantity of fights, I, I had more than any other defenseman in the league last year. So, um, although those two guys are a great support, I don't think it'll slow me down as far as the way I want to play.